Greetings, my friends. Sorry if it uh, moves around a little bit. <laughs> this new camera I got apparently has AI tracking in it, so it'll... Stop it. Stop following me, weirdo. <laughs> Today, we're going to be listening to another request from our big-time supporter, Barry. Uh, thank you so much, Barry, for everything. I really appreciate you, bro. We're going to be listening to... Here we go. Um, Yumer Diodato. He is a Brazilian keyboardist. Uh, this is off the album Diodato 2. And the track is called... Super Strut. And I looked at the personnel list already. And apparently, Rick Murata and Billy C are on this record. I don't know if they're on this uh, track or not, but I'm excited. Barry always picks the best stuff. He is 14 for 14 as we speak. So, let's see what happens. You're up. If you guys are not subscribed, please help a brother out. Click that icon right below my face and the Deftone shirt. I'd really appreciate it. It takes like two seconds. It's absolutely free. And it really helps the channel out. I promise it does. Alrighty. I'm a little parched. Hold on. Don't follow me. Stop it. Fucking weirdo. Alright, here we go. See, now it's got over here. You saw my towel and stuff? You guys aren't supposed to see that. That's not cool. Alright, super strut. Humor Diodato. And three, two, one, hit it. Itself, that's Rick or Billy. Is that Billy? Sounds like him. That is groovy as hell. I swear I've heard this progression before somewhere. Oh my god. He is killing it on the freaking keys. Oh my god. 
Bro, this camera is gonna blow me, bro. I'm so sorry. Huh. Tropia? Damn. I wanna go dancing or something, bro. I'm not even alive. Got it. Damn. He's been shredding for like five minutes straight now. He need a drink of vitamin water. Funky kind of day, man. Funkadelic, Simon and Garfunkel. This guy. Makes you feel good. This is happy music. Especially for a drummer, good god. <laughs> hey, 
It almost reminds me of Santana at points. I guess that like Latin, like Caribbean feel almost. Consistent rhythm and groove. Billy was, or Rick Murata or Frank Z, whoever the fuck that was. Good lord. Still going. Even in the outro, fucking fading out, still killing it. Alright, Barry. 14 for 14. Damn, that was good, dude. I love when we do those more, I don't know what to call it. See, see if I can raise it up. There we go. The more like jazzy instrumental based stuff you know like we did like return to forever and a, good godly a handful of other you know jazz adjacent or funk sort of adjacent bands you know like this was a good combination of like almost like a latin percussion style with whoever that was on drums back there killing it um the piano was very almost like a new agey at points like just in like the the, the tones and I guess whatever settings he was using but like the playing style was definitely more of a funky upbeat sort of stuff and it's a good interesting combination of styles I felt like like um let me see so it was humor Diodato on the keyboards uh, and the piano of course John Tropia on guitars John Giuliano Stanley Clark on bass Alvin Brandt this is for the whole album I don't know for the exact song um Billy McMurata, Frank Z on the drums, and then there was also Gilmore DeGap and Ruben Rubens Bassini on congas and percussion. There were strings and stuff too on this album. Oh my god, there's so many different stuff. So a lot of people did a lot of different things here, but I'm gonna have to go with whoever was on drums, um, John Tropia on guitar. Oh my god, that solo. Like I wouldn't even I don't even was that a solo? That was like five minutes of him just fucking shredding, dude. Um I loved it. A lot of the chords and just like the little, I don't know, that groove that he had in his playing. -na 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 -na. -na 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 -na. You know, it just had a really good upbeat vibe to it and feel. And um, th I just recorded Cortez the Killer before this. I don't know what release order is going to be, you know. So I'm listening to this right after that. And that pulled me out of the, mm, not even the funk, just the, <laughs> nah, I said funk, just the, uh, I don't know, that song really makes you think you know and um yeah this is needed after that so thank you barry that was really great uh i really enjoyed diodato's keyboards of course too he was all over the place like i said he had a really new agey sound to it but the actual playing style was a little bit different than that i definitely felt the jazz in there some funk like i said it's like a hybrid of whatever you i don't know whatever you would call this uh let's see what it says Jazz Fusion. Ah, that's what it is. No shit. <laughs> Dumbass. Uh, yeah, that was great. Thank you, Barry. Uh, as always, that was really good. Uh, he always picks the best songs. He really does. All y'all have great, such you have such great taste in music. I've learned so much from y'all. I'm very appreciative. Like I said, like we're in so many rabbit holes right now. I shouldn't even call it rabbit holes anymore. We're just like in holes everywhere. I've dug holes in the entire yard looking for the bone that I buried five years ago. So... Hey man, I'm with it. This music's great and um, it's been really giving me a new outlook on life and I'm trying to be more hopeful and more positive about things. You know, everything's been doing pretty decent. You know, it's just, you know, personal life is strife right now. <laughs> life and strife, there you go. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know, there's a lot going on in my life with my family and I don't know, there's a lot of things up in the air and I've been in uh, my head about it and I'm just, you know, it's got to stay positive. Try to keep moving forward, do the best I can every day, you know. It's all I can control. And if it's out of my control, I can't worry about it because I'll drive myself crazy. Thank God for this music and thank God for y'all because it uh, it really helps, to say the least. So thank you for watching. Sorry if I got off topic there. That was great. Thank you, Barry. Uh, if you guys want to hear any more from this album or from your merch, let me know. Leave the songs in the, down there in the comments and maybe I'll do another one because that was really good. And uh, if you want to pick it, 
there's a Patreon right here. Um, if you go to the description, there's a link in there. Click it. Join the $10 tier or up. You get one free request a month. And there's a bunch of new rules and guidelines I posted for the requests and stuff for more like the PayPal stuff. If you go on there, you look at it, anyone can read it. And uh, I, I encourage you to do so because I don't want any more misunderstandings. You know what I mean? And uh, if you join any of the tiers, you get access to all of our block videos. We've got hours and hours of content on there that you haven't seen. It's all Patreon exclusive. There's a few Beatles albums. About to finish up Revolver this weekend. There's a ton of King Crimson. Frank Zappa, Jethro Tull, a bunch of different stuff on there. But um, we'd love to have you. We have a great community over there, and uh, we have a Discord as well, so you get access to that. And there's a PayPal link in the description for tips, requests, and anything else. Sorry for the camera movement and stuff and such. I'll have to figure this out. It's like a whole new setup I have now, thanks to y'all. So I really, really appreciate y'all. I really do. Thank you. I'll see y'all for the next one.